Well, that about wraps up our show. We hope you've enjoyed listening to Not Necessarily the Best of Not Necessarily the Head Ball Coach. Of course, if you didn't, we're not necessarily too concerned about it. As I go, I'll leave you with a medley of memorable moments from Not Necessarily the Head Ball Coach. For Sports Talk, I'm Steve Woodard. Buddy, I tell you, I ain't heard my name called this much since I went to one of them gator gatherings and had to play a round of golf with you and Steve. Coach, you got honors, Coach. And I throw the cart, Coach. And coach, that's a two-stroke penalty, Coach. Take my word for it, buddy. It's one of them long days. I think I might have had more fun at the dang fiesta ball. What about the heat now? That's going to be a problem. I mean, you know, Coach Fulmer headed to Ocala Thursday. Uh, he wants to uh, get accustomed to the heat. Is that going to be helping him out in the swamp any at all? Well, buddy, you know, that's like somebody saying they want to get accustomed to a punch in the stomach by going up and bad-mouthing Mike Tyson. I'm telling you, don't you underestimate old Noah. He's a... Uh... You don't have a tambourine or a pigtail sticking out of his head, buddy, but he's just like that old Hari Krishna bunch outside the stadium in the north end zone. The Hari Krishna bunch? He's just like them because How never... can he... Wait a minute. Now, how could Noah Brindice be like the Hari Krishna bunch? Because whenever there's a ball game, buddy, he comes to play. I tell you, buddy, I, I wish everybody wanted to play as much as old Trey Killingsworth does. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, in the spring, we needed receivers, so he, he learned to catch the ball, and right now he, he needs help with a kickoff, so he's learned how to do that. Yes, he has. He's one of them kids, buddy, that's just uh, going to keep on trying till he gets a job on this team. Mm-hmm. I, I just hope he don't show up at practice one day with a white visor on and a sack full of fancy ball plates. <laughs> you know, at that time of the night, I'm usually watching that cop show, but I just love to watch him. Lawmen chasing after them hoodlums, don't you? Now, what cop show is that, Coach? Is you know that, that old cop, that old bad boys thing? and uh, Oh, that Fox thing. You know, I can watch that show with a stopwatch in my hand and actually time some of them FSU players in the 40. <laughs> morning, buddy. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, I Coach. apologize that I ain't checked in with you boys in the last couple of weeks. I, I meant to, but I took a line drive off the side of the head in practice and just... Just forgot to call you. But I ought to know better than to stand behind Robbie Stevenson when he's punting. But that ain't never going to happen in NC2A. Eh? I don't want my boys in there voting, voting on stuff and having a bunch of things like shorter curfews and no practices, no running after practice. And next thing you know, you got two live crew down by the water cooler and all the players are shaking their booties on the sidelines. <laughs> it's the kind of thing we need in NC2A and you, you ain't gonna see it on Florida Field as long as I'm coach. Gotta head on out now. I'm heading to a flea market. Gonna give me one of them big old belt buckles and uh, get my name carved on a, on a belt. Takes about $600 to get not necessarily head ball coach put on one of them leather belts. Someday when I get a 70-inch waist. I'm going to be glad I got that thing. <laughs>